Hi, I am Timothy Riddles. As well as on behalf of Drs. Benham and Saad, I'm pleased to present to you our clinical picture. The clinical picture is a composite of a lateral x-ray of the ankle and panel A, lateral computer tomography scan of the ankle and panel B, and an AP x-ray of the patient's pelvis and panel C. The arrows marked indicate prominent areas of enthesopathy, also called enthesophytes. This occurs with bony proliferation of the insertion sites of tendons and ligaments. Enthesopathy may occur in psoriatic arthritis, heavy metal exposure, skeletal fluorosis, hyperparathyroidism, and heritable forms of hyperphosphatemia. In this example, the striking enthesopathy is caused by X-linked hyperphosphatemia. This patient was diagnosed with X-linked hyperphosphatemia in childhood, following a known family history with his mother similarly afflicted. In adulthood, he developed chronic pain to the foot and ankle, prompting referral to the rheumatology service. Examination of the feet demonstrated hypertrophic growth of the midfoot region, with tenderness at the plantar fascial insertions, the latter consistent with enthesopathy. As depicted in our clinical picture, imaging of the feet and pelvis demonstrated extensive, irregular bony proliferation of the entheses, particularly with calcaneal, talar, navicular, acetabular, and thesophytes. Interestingly, the articular surfaces were relatively well preserved, which would not necessarily be expected in other forms of enthesopathy, namely with psoriatic arthritis. Additionally, the sacroiliac joints are well preserved, where ankylosis of the sacroiliac joints along with enthesopathy, may prompt suspicion of spondyloarthritis. In X-linked hyperphosphatemia, there is poor absorption of phosphate in the intestine and impaired renal tubular reabsorption, leading to hyperphosphatemia and pathological mineralization of the tendons and ligaments. In childhood, problems include delayed and disproportionate growth, craniosyntoses and rickets. In adults, as in this case, problems include inappropriate mineralization of the fibrocartilage leading to development of enthesophytes, resulting in joint stiffness and pain or enthesopathy. Adult patients may present with complaints of arthralgia to the knees, hips or back. Unfortunately, whilst treatment with calcitriol and oral phosphate in childhood may improve growth rate, it has limited benefit in preventing the development of progressive enthesopathy in adulthood.